I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the house of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison, so they came back and reported, we found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them. The men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. 
Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord Lord hears hears the the cry cry of of the poor. poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The The Lord Lord hears hears the the cry of of the poor. poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord Lord hears hears the the cry cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 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 to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And so... In this gospel, we have the good news that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And so God's intention, God's desire is based on love. And he sends his only begotten son out of love for us so that in the son, we can see who God is. We see that God is love. And this is the good news that in Jesus Christ, we see revealed the way, the truth, and the life. And So believing exactly what Jesus Christ is revealing, that God is love, that God has a good intention, that God desires to give us eternal life. And so believing this revelation, then it affects. It is the way of living. God loves me. God loves me as I am. God gave his son so that I may have life. And this is the intention of God in sending the son. And so whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. But there's another reality that we don't like to talk about. But I think we have to acknowledge that we have also experienced this other reality, that the light 
came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. Everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light. And it's something that we've experienced. If I've done something wrong, if, if I've gone against my conscience, I don't want to come to the light. I don't want to be in the light. I prefer to stay hidden. I prefer to stay in the darkness. I prefer to stay in the shadows. I don't want my deeds to come to the light. And so this is simply a reality that we've all experienced. And we see this reality exactly in the first reading. On the one side, we have the apostles who have believed this good news. And we see that because of this, they're in prison, but it says that the prison doors are broken open. During the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. And so this is the freedom of believing in this good news, that the, the bars the, that hold us in are broken. That, this is freedom. They're able to do the will of God. They're able to announce this good news. They're able to live a life without fear because of what Jesus Christ has shared with them. On the other side, we have the high priest, we have the Sadducees, his companions, who also saw Jesus Christ, who also heard Jesus Christ, who also heard that he had risen. Same thing. But it says because of their jealousy, they preferred the darkness. And the consequence of this is putting others in prison. It's the other consequence of preferring to be in the darkness we put other people in prison and it says that they were afraid of being stoned by the people and so this is exactly the contrary to live a life of fear to live a life of putting others in prison because it's something that happens perhaps subconsciously at a deep level that we don't want to come we choose not to be in the light. But the tragedy of this is that we're choosing not to be with God who is love, who is life, who is the way. And so with the coming of Jesus Christ, this option is put before us. And so let us believe that what Jesus Christ is revealing is true, that God is love, that God loves us and desires to be with us. He desires to share his life with us. And knowing this love of God, even if we have sins, we can bring them to the light because we know that God loves us as we are, that God died so that our sins can be forgiven and we can be reconciled to God. And so as we pass to this Eucharist, Jesus Christ is here giving himself to us, revealing himself to us, revealing the Father to us but only so that we can welcome him into our lives. We can welcome this divine life, this eternal life, which he comes to give us. And so let us, with gratitude, but also ask for this grace that we can believe the good news that is being announced to us this Easter season. God gave his only son to the world so that we might be saved through him. With faith in his saving power, we offer our prayers to the Father. That church leaders may have a spirit of humility as they serve in Jesus' name. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That political leaders may have the guidance of the Holy Spirit to bear the fruits of peace and justice let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That prisoners may be treated with dignity and restored to right relationship with society upon their release. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our community of believers may be guided by God's grace in all we say and do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died, especially for Alfonso Joseph Warren, 
that they may be saved through him and through Jesus Christ and have eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Robert Serafin. For him, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those that are affected by the virus, that they may experience God's presence and God's help. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the special intentions that remain in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of love and mercy, we ask that you hear and answer our prayers through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all of his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Samuel our Bishop, Jorge his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For all the faithful who are celebrating this Mass online, let us make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
as though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Sacred silence, holy ocean, gentle water washing over me. Help me listen, Holy Spirit, come and speak to me. speak to me. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.